We speak of reform. We speak of leaving the Pope's ways for those of Scripture. Yet look at us. Where Rome once taxed our congregations, we now have a council which demands our tithes. Where monasteries once assigned us priests, we now have pastors appointed by a secular council. Our church still tolerates graven images <laughs> and finally we have this question of baptism you say now that because Christ neither taught for nor against the baptism of infants that the Old Testament is decisive that the covenant God's people once held by circumcision is now sealed through the hope of baptism performed on infants. I say, lie! <laughs> the baptism of infants was a lie when the Pope called for it. The scriptures have not changed. Baptism must be a choice made of free will. Such a choice is not possible for infants. If this council continues their baptism, it does not damn the babe. It damns the church. A delicate matter, this business of baptism. An extremely delicate matter. Still. How much harm can come from abandoning the practice of watering babies? We depend on the grain we receive from the canton still controlled by Rome. More change and we'll be cut off. That logic is absurd. If our concern is to appease Rome, we should not have broken away in the first place. Do you think for one moment that if we decide in their favor, it will stop there? He's right, Jacob. There's more here than a child's baptism. These radicals threaten our ability to govern Zurich. I have a son in their ranks. His beliefs are strong, but hardly treasonous. Ulrich, these people we now call radicals have been your students. We have known them as friends, comrades in our break with Rome. There must be some compromise. Faith is a fragile thing. It's not enough to be against Rome. Zurich must remain united as one people, a fortress whose foundation is the baptism of all its citizens at birth. Only then can we stand united against our enemies. So, the disputation has been decided. They will not accept it. They will insist on further debate. The debate is fine, but there must be an end to debate. A church, a city without discipline, inspires chaos. Divide and conquer, the Romans used to say, and the Roman Pope says it still. The Council has prepared its ruling on the issue of infant baptism. The Zurich Canton, in every respect, upholds the arguments and positions articulated by Pastor Ulrich Zwingli. The Council also asserts its authority to enforce the results of this dispute. Results? Any parent with unbaptized children after seven days of this ruling, will lose the rights of citizenship and will be banished from the canton of Zurich. What? Felix Muntz and Conrad Grebel, as citizens, are ordered on pain of imprisonment to refrain from any further discussion of the matter which has been judged in this dispute. Do not worry. 
I will continue my protest. The Council also embraces the right to declare judgment on those who are not citizens of the Canton of Zurich. Judgment? Wilhelm Reutlin, George Blaurock, Johannes Brotley, Andreas Kasselberger, and Ludwig Hetzer have eight days to leave all territories within this Council's jurisdiction. our hope is north, in the countryside. The peasants have begun to revolt against their lords. God's word is meant to incite faith, not sword play. Zurich, we have to continue here. The peasants need leaders. The peasants need to hear Christ's teachings, not battle cries. Besides, we've been silenced. Truth cannot be silenced. Zurich is our home. Not my home. We can begin somewhere else. With the peasants' support, we can build a new church. A true church cannot be built on violence. I say we stay in Zurich, whatever the cost. North, the peasants, there is our hope. Baptize me. Baptize me. Baptize him. Brother, I cannot. Oh, yes, you can, and you must. Why? We've been ordered to submit the unbaptized for baptism, am I right? Yes, yes. of course. Yeah. Yes, of course. By rejecting the baptism of infants, am I not rejecting my own? If we defy the council, we will be imprisoned. Not imprisoned. Freed. George is right. Better a prison of stone than a prison of false conviction. Baptize me, brother. Rebaptism is a crime. Oh, not rebaptism, but a first true baptism. Brother George, do you, uh, are you sorry for your past sins? Oh, that's a lot to be sorry for. <laughs> that is, and I am. By accepting the sign of baptism, is it your choice to now proclaim your faith before God and in the presence of these witnesses? It is. God, help me be strong. Then I baptize you, George Blaura, in the name of God, Christ Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Give me your hand, brother. Brother George, as Christ was raised from the dead, by the glory of God. So walk from this day forth in newness of life. And so we came to be known as the Anabaptists, those who rebaptize. To those who ruled Europe, who viewed infant baptism as a mark of citizenship, we had committed the ultimate act of treason.